no, 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 this is all wrong. Cartoons have the production code. You cannot be doing this. Huh? What is the production code you ask? Well, the production code of 1934 is in effect now, and it's a list of rules and regulations to moralize cinema. Basically, a list of what's acceptable and unacceptable. You're still acting like the pre-code days of the early 1930s, which is no longer allowed. Do you understand? Well, before the production code, individual theaters in the U.S. alter or not show certain films if they didn't see it as suitable for audiences. Following several high-profile celebrity scandals, reform groups, mostly religious organizations, decided to put an end to the movie industry's lack of morals, and pressured Hollywood to improve his image. The industry didn't want the government to intervene, so in 1922 the film industry asked William Hayes, a religious man, to create reasonable limitations. Hayes' job was to regulate Hollywood behavior on and off screen. He helped create the first film censorship laws, the Don'ts and Be Carefuls. It shamed profanity, nudity, drug trafficking, and sex among other things. Hayes modified the Lord Quigley Code, a set of regulations developed by a group of Catholics and turned into the Production Code of 1930. Soon, the code became Hollywood law. However, the code enforcement was weak and Hollywood tended to ignore it. Hayes hired Joseph Breen. Breen used his religious ideals and influence to make the stricter production code that took effect in 1934. Now every film must have a production code seal before it's shown. Violation will result in a fine. That includes animation. Breen has sent me here to clean up your act. Drinking, smoking, and reveling in debauchery is not acceptable conduct. You must know how we've helped the Fletcher Studios of late. Have you seen the wonderful work we've done for Betty Boop lately? That could be you. Ready to go through cartoon rehab and become an outstanding member of cartoon society? I should warn you, shows that don't have the production certificate of approval will no longer be screened. It seems like you need some extra help. That's why cartoons who need some adjustment before heading out into the pros production world come to Cartoon Rehabilitation. Lovely place, isn't it? Let's begin with everyone's appearance. Because your appearance is the foundation of how audiences will see you. Let's start with you, miss. Your skirt is too short and provocative. Your blouse shows too much skin. How about this? Well, there is one more thing we can fix. Oh no you don't. You seem to be the bimbo to the ladies' Betty Boop. We can't have you romancing outside of your kind. Looking swell, you two. Much better suited for the code. What else? None of this behavior will get past our reviews. Kissing intimately or suggestive sexual activities is strictly forbidden. Uh-uh. Drinking and drug use is not allowed either. Let's fix that. <laughs> Don't you feel better with your new wholesome American values? Time to get you out of that dark urban setting and into one that's much more fitting. What can we take away from this? Well, the production code was a nifty idea to protect the nation's moral values. Every film was screened intently to avoid offending anyone. The code came about due to public outcry for censorship in Hollywood and in hopes of avoiding government regulations. However, race and violence were not regulated very well, even though there were regulations on them. So cartoons used stereotypes and violence more often. Many resisted and detested the production code throughout its existence. Even animators. Many found ways to work around the code or just ignore it. Lufus counterculture and independent production increased in the 1950s. American films were in constant competition with foreign unregulated films and television. This resulted in the weakening of regulations to help Hollywood compete. Jack Valente introduced the Motion Pictures Association of America, or MPAA, film rating system in 1968, which ended the production code. Films and cartoons had fewer regulations, causing a surge of experimentation in the late 60s and early 70s, such as the Yellow Submarine music video by The Beatles and the adult-oriented Fritz the Cat by Ralph Baschke. However, the production code's influence helped solidify animation's reputation as a children's medium in the U.S., which is still a stigma animators face today. Now all you tunes, be on your best behavior out there or the PCA might just take your show away. Oh, and don't worry about our characters. In animation, nearly every character gets to be revitalized.